David, I really appreciate the opportunity to connect with you. And it's unusual that we have really, you're not a stuck church. You're a healthy church, and yet you reached yeah. out to us. So right. what prompted you to reach out to our team? I mean, reality is, um, Tony, we're, 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 we are a, we got a lot of great things going on. God's been really good to us. Um, as a church, though, we found ourselves, we, we, about three years ago, three and a half years ago, we launched another campus in town. And to be a two-campus church in a town of only about 125,000, uh, I don't know that that's utterly unique, but it's pretty unique. Mm -hmm. And we found great growth from that, and then honestly, we plateaued. And we saw it, and we saw some rumblings in having the two campuses and just trying to run that system. We found ourselves at a place where we knew something wasn't quite right. We just, we honestly couldn't put our finger on it. And we knew to move forward, something had to correct. And so through some friends that you had worked with, this was recommended, and man, we said, we, we'll give it a try. We, want, we, we didn't want to wait till we got really stuck. <laughs> we wanted to kind of say, okay, we, we've got a call to move forward. I think everybody feels that, and we had exhausted our resources, and I knew it. I mean, I, I knew something wasn't right. Our leadership knew something wasn't quite right. It wasn't like really wrong, but it just wasn't, it wasn't right, and we needed some help finding what that might be. Well, you've invited us back to yes. work more specifically on vision with your right. elders, but uh, which would suggest there was something about the process that you went through that was helpful for you. So, what would you? Oh, what could you articulate around that? Absolutely, it was helpful. The whole process was. I mean, I, and you know, it was the entire process was really, really good. Um, for us, it identified some factors, help us, you know, have outside eyes to see some things. I would say the piece for us that was most missing um, was our. Um, our, uh, our strategic alignment in terms of just how our staff alignment operated. Uh, I can remember at our very first session, um, we were going over kind of church health questions. There's a lot of a lot of good things going on, some things we wanted to adjust, which we have. But I remember when I had the revelation of what the issue was going to be. I mean, I knew exactly what it was, um, what it was going to take, and so we had always, we had always started talking, and we'd already started talking about after the first time Amy showing up. And we kept talking about Amy coming, mm -hmm. and because we knew that was going to be a key component for us. I mean, we did some great things in our, you know, our strategy session, vision session, but really the staff alignment uh, with the two campuses was really a big deal for us. For you as a senior pastor, were there any big surprises for you personally as you went through the process? Oh, I, I, I mean. Yeah, there were some big surprises in the sense of, I don't know about big surprises, I'd come to the realization that we had been, you know, I had been unconsciously competent in leadership. I mean, I, I kind of always knew, I felt like I knew what to do, I just didn't know why to do it. And we had gotten to the end of that. Mm -hmm. um, I was now not only unconscious, but I was incompetent. <laughs> I didn't know where else to go. <laughs> and I just needed some, we needed some help. And so, no, there weren't really surprises. I was really wide open. Um, I do, the surprise was when, you know, it was more of when, when I saw this is probably the issue that all the team's been talking about for a year and a half. Hmm. And I got it, and then the surprise was, why didn't I see that? That was, hmm. that seems so simple, but I guess that's the, that's the nature of when something, when God gives you something that you haven't seen before, it seems like I should have always seen it. Mm -hmm. And so for that, um, I'm, I'm grateful. I, I don't know that I was shocked by it, I was hoping for it. And I think it's been very key for us. So I know before you contacted us, you reached out to a friend right. to ask some advice about working with our team. What would you say to another senior pastor that was interested? And oh, yeah. just why, why, why should they follow through with the process, do you think? Well, for us, I mean, we found, um, you know, one, we found a, a team of people who had knowledge on churches, and I believe a variety of churches. You know, what I did did love about the process is it wasn't centered around creating a specific thing. Like It wasn't like, this is our model, you need to come fit in our model. It really was trying to unpack how the church and the culture it is and the callings that it has can get better at what it's doing. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, appreci I appreciate it for our culture, the very, very much the spiritual overtones of just the way we did this, that it wasn't just this cold, I don't know, not cold wouldn't be the right word, but if I may, there was a desire for the Spirit to really be a part of this and the Spirit to lead. There was times of prayer, there were times of seeking the Lord, there were times of us saying, come on God, you know, show us what to do. So I, I didn't feel like it was just this thing that you said we're going to do this and then we're going to get us to this and we're going to do this and we all end up at the same place always. It was, you know, I, I could say with integrity when I talk to you, so where are we going to end? And your answer was, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through a journey, and we're going to hopefully end where God wants us to end, and which is exactly what we want, and I think most church leaders want. We don't want this 
cookie cutter process that gets us to a certain place. We want to begin to unpack what, what God has for us. And I thought there was a lot of room for our, our team to decide um, with guidance. You know, and what I, I did love about you guys is you had a lot of experiences in a lot of different kinds of churches. And you could say, well, we've seen this and we've seen this and we've seen that, all of which have been good. If you sense this is what God would have for you, this is a good thing, this is how we've seen it work. And so that variety of experiences and insights in the church world have been great for us. Mm -hmm.